Jaffer. Apparently, the keys are refusing to work somewhat. Seconds. Door. Lights. Okay, it seems to it seems my macro keys are being a bit grumpy, but at least I thought that before things went too wrong. Hello anyone who which you he may be watching now later on on YouTube seeing me here along with Rick and, and, welcome, <laughs> and welcome to the sixth Saturday sideshow and the third time that we're playing Gato Robato. I sort of expect that we'll probably be done with this game uh, this time, but if we are, we can just finish off the uh, Geometric Sniper after that. We only got that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to summarize this game for anyone new who may be watching, uh, this is basically a... It's basically a lo-fi uh, love letter to Metroid, because, well, we're playing a Gato in a Roboto. And, oh, only, oh, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably total of everything found in the game. And I'll turn my fan off because it's not that hot now anymore. Uh, yeah, we've, <laughs> we've still found quite a bit of things. Uh, yeah, load game. Yep. I've changed up my buttons again a bit. I don't want to be all the just talk way through the game. We did have some struggles or some areas. Yeah. And this is not really, uh, as far as I see, not really going to have many secret areas, exactly. Okay, we've cleared out the main area ish and two of the side areas, so we are now in the third and possibly ish semi last area where yeah we need to guide kiki the cat here 
through the vents, and that is blocked. Yeah, and I think I saw something that looks like a little up there. Hey, Kiki, listen, see that? Oh. Sorry, kitty. I guess I just like to help. <laughs> Looks like you can handle this on your own. Yeah, that's the commander. That's your, your captain. He, he's the captain of his own little ship. And he was basically sent in to investigate here. Only he got his fat ass stuck in the ship. <laughs> because he crashed it. I'm so proud. Over and out. So yeah, he's been well. He's been sitting back. Kiki's been doing all the work. Yeah, Kiki is his only cat. Yeah, Kiki, kitty, kitty. Oh. Uh. What you put that out to me? That's so just so painful. Okay, now this is open. Yeah, as Kiki herself, we are vulnerable. Because, well, she's lacking a, an armored robot suit. Luckily, we can, we can usually summon this suit at any of these save stations, but, well, it's, there's just not enough space in there. Hello there. Whoa. Okay, I see what we need to do. Get him to dig up stuff for us. Come on. I like the detail that it ha it still has footsteps for these things, even though typically we kill them <laughs> as soon as possible. Oh, I wonder if you broke it. Hey! Do you have... Oh. Ole. <laughs> even though, well, bullfighting has been pretty much outlawed, I think. Okay, not that way. And... Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that, w that was, is the thing that logically happens when a cat runs into a combat drone. <laughs> well, so the reason that these things look a bit different is because we put on a color palette that we... that we found. Which one is this one? I think this one is coffee stain. Wait. I'm sure this is coffee stain, but this one looks like the standard one. Uh, was this soft? Uh, we can check it over here. And. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something both cute and awesome about this picture, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is coffee stain, no? <laughs> yeah, virtual boy, starboards, bark. Mm. Yeah, let, let's keep this coffee stain, and we certainly are not using this one. <laughs> okay, we can meow whilst we're just, <laughs> whilst we're just keep steering Kiki around. Bye-bye. Ah, wait. Okay. For a moment I thought we were getting our suit back, but no. A health upgrade is useful, of course. Okay, this is uh, what the was supposed to be in without the suit. That does beg the question, though. Where are we supposed to go instead, then? Uh, oh, wait. Of course. Get that thing to dig through. And here we go. I probably should have thought of that earlier. It would, it would bring down the helicopter. Or the drone, I mean. It's still an absolutely silly sound that that thing makes. What the heck is that? And it's a turtle. We found these earlier. Are you counting the legs? Okay, a turtle crab. Oh, that's, that's a lot of mines. Like a what? what the heck? Okay. Oh, come on. Mom, at some point, what the heck? 
So close, yet so far. Because the vent is pushing us back. Well, there's only one way to get through the vent then. Eat a little fish. Okay, that... All of that weeping. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, that would be a very panic-inducing sound for... <laughs> oh, oh, and... Oops. Okay, still no suits. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be because it, it's about to go boom on your ass. And now we have these blowfish. So get past them. Uh, yeah, I. This game certainly has surprised me. I, it was far more than I was expecting it to be. Same. I mean, my stuff is already. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah, I did look up that game that you were talking about earlier. That is basically the same as this, but uh, a bit higher graphics and such, and medieval scenes, sort of ish. Uh, Panzer Pellet or Pan Paladin? Panzer Paladin, I think it was. Yeah, I think that's the one more that you can see, but I'm not going to find it, but it might, it might just be my family, my memory just be. Okay, I, I think I'll take a look at that game, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll die, maybe we'll stream that as well at some point. And... Yeah, the biggest complaint I'd really have with this game so far is those flashes when you save. Yeah. Not too bad, but... I think we want to do something else besides flashing. Yeah, or maybe just have it... Fla maybe have the screen turn to white for a full second. Or a full half second. So that's a bit of a contradiction. Yeah, yeah, instead of you, having it flash like that. We were having something that made you a loop circle, stigma light, or something. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, uh, hello there. Oh, there's yeah, another fucking oh, rat. It's a damn rat. Rat might come It has ears, it squeaks, uh, and it tries to kill us, so <laughs> it doesn't matter much anyway. So, At least it's going slow as all hell. Come on, get over here, you. Thank you. And goodbye. For a game I described as sort of like uh, yeah, Metroid Lite, like you could use this as an introduction to the Metroid games, it still does more than, well, much more than I expected. Oh, oh that's not good. Actually, I, I think we have plenty of time. <laughs> oh, do we? That's a question. If you're talking over the moment, can you do it? And this is not pleasant to see And music gone, so yeah, I think we're safe. I know exactly what this calls for. Uh, finally. Back in the suits. Okay, let's have a look around. And immediately we go into combat. And there's the fly guy. And there we go. That. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, 
side there. Uh, when we double jump Kiki in the corner, she smiles. Ah, another log. And more. What's this? Laboratory log of Dr. Heinrich, day 642. Effective is a nasty choice of words. But Barclay's health is certainly in decline. Poor thing, I have never seen anything like this. That's uh, his dog, by the way. He must have been exposed to something quite carcinogenic. I wonder what those jerks in security did to him. Oh, and give me a second. Uh, I don't want him to die. Uh, give me a sec whilst I do something here. Uh, someone's asking for a link. So, yeah, easy enough. To Thing to this game or no, to the stream? It's Beanie. Oh, oh, all right. To the stream. It's Beanie, and I, I should turn that off because before I hear myself in echo all the time. Um, yeah, back to the game. Shut that off. He is my only friend. But I am running out of ideas and medicine. And security is becoming suspicious. I have an idea, but it is likely to fail. If you recall in prior experiments, I bound the consciousness of a rat to the body of a frog. Okay. My assistant, Dr. Rebecca Brown, expressed some disgust for this project, which I suspect is due to her allergic reaction to these amphibians. I have been thus far unable to reproduce the experiment. But assuming I could, this just might work. Good boy. Sorry. I'll help you, Barkley. Okay, I'm... I'm fully expecting Barkley to be like the final boss in this. Hello, what have we here? Big Shot. Kiki, you got the Big Shot module. Oh. This big... And hey, Beanie in the chat. Yes, rats are the enemies here, apparently. <laughs> this makes your normal shot a lot more powerful. Give it a shot, Kiki. <laughs> and... <laughs> okay, she's actually doing that on her own. <laughs> ah, you are becoming quite formidable, Kiki. Ow. Over and out. Okay, I was expecting sort of a charge shot, but that might have uh, that might have annoyed <laughs> Nintendo. That might have annoyed Nintendo's lawyers a bit too much. And no, it's not a robot cat. It's a cat in a robot suit. So sort of like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they actually have this little thing <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> yeah, I think there's been a cat in a film you suit once. At least the dog yeah. has been in it. Uh, I really want to just get, uh, I want to take a screenshot of this, cut out the 
you know, cut out Kiki and the suit and put that on a shirt. I think it would work as a shirt. Oh, oh we've already seen that. What? Yeah, I, I landed on that button. Yeah, I've seen this one. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, this game is, this game is cheap as hell as well. I think like three bucks or so, and we've been at it like uh, I think we gave it half an hour or an hour on some on a something Sunday. And then now this video and the previous, so it's probably going to be around five hours after this run is done. Okay, we have an elevator. What do we have to activate down here then? Ah, there it is. Boom <laughs> <laughs> goes the cat. How do you do it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kiki outside of the suit takes a single hit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, apparently cats in this universe are made of like out of explosion. Okay, let's avoid that this time and get on the air. Yeah, that one was the that. Yeah, I'd forgotten. <laughs> I'd forgotten that those drones fire explosives. Okay, so let's get some payback. Yeah, this, this robot suit has basically every power that Samus would have, but of course, uh, named a bit differently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard one of you. Oh, yeah. So I should look up if maybe the creators of this made shirts of this themselves. Up there is out of our reach. Um, Jet here, then we can use the suit as a jumping off point. And here we go. Okay. Um, Okay, for a moment I thought that suit was, you know, that frog was going to steal our suit. Which would be both hilarious and uh, terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we just bounced off the explosive there and just short. Oh dear. Let's see, did you ever play a game really old called Impossible Mission? This, for some reason, reminds me of it. I... At first, at first I thought you were going to say Impossible Creatures, but no, I don't think I've ever played Impossible Mission. Uh, it might be in part because of this palette that we've been using. Let's go back to this standard for a bit. Impossible Mission and Impossible Creatures as well. I don't know what to call it. trying to keep me from going up there, you little... Actually, we can just bombard it. It's gone, at least. Oh, blood head. It's so fine. If they make a... ...half of a bottle of food... But they didn't say that it's just the damn blooded dreadlock. Yes, the dreadlock from Wuhan. That's probably a bit too high. This is something that Samus doesn't really have. It's a dodge ability. 
Uh, whoa, that ring filter started giving me flashbacks to my TRS-80 days. Uh, combat. What were we hit by there? You land on another mob. I... I think I need to land on another mob. So hard that you crush it on your boots. Let's see, what have we here? We're, we're currently in the vents trying to repair the systems. Or, well, unplugging the systems. But yeah, if they'd make a, a Gato Roboto 2, I'd pay for it full price no matter what. Because, <laughs> yeah, this game is just plain fun. Yeah, it is. It is. Just the right amount of cute and curious. That there is a mystery and all that. Yeah, because something went wrong here. Uh, oh, hello. You? said that I'd look at... Are we... Okay, we just barely fit through. I already said that I'd look at uh, Panzer Paladin, which is similar to this. Uh, yeah. What is that? <laughs> we got a cat in a cannon. <laughs> Okay, for a moment I was fully expecting that to fire off Kiki. <laughs> uh, I was expecting to just hit one shot. One shot just clean it out the whole way. Not with several shots. Okay. And we're heading for. Not that. Come out, Kiki. I said, come out. <laughs> of course, like any other cat, she's being difficult. Experience. Okay, we can save here. And... Come on, okay. Can I aim this thing? No, I can only charge it. <laughs> well, that was simple. <laughs> this cat is a Navy SEAL. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, more. Yeah, this is basically telling us that this thing can also be used for combat. I get the feeling we'll probably have to fight a boss or a mini boss like this. Yeah, and you just give me an idea which I think someone may do at some point. A game where you're a seal working for the Navy. <laughs> I swear, your boss is making my brain work in so many more crazy matters. Oh, I called it. And that, that was Beanie's line. That, uh... oh. Well, alright. Points for Bean this time. <laughs> it's been inspiring watching your progress. Uh, yeah, apparently the... Oh. Who is there? You haven't figured it out yet? That, that, <laughs> that's, that's an I, but it's... Uh, it looks very similar to a V. Gary? I don't know what you are, but this ends now. Piggy, crush that little freak. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting to get knocked this thing around. I just gotta be careful, nothing 
gets too close to me. Yeah, the, <laughs> again, I I was certainly expecting this to be a kid's uh, Metro or Metroid, but uh, no, it can get pretty tough. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's on back back as well. Come on. Come on, get in line. There we go. And immediately. Immediately it reforms it. Okay, I got out too late there. Yeah, these bosses can be a bit... <laughs> and Beanie's cheering for the rats. <laughs> of course you are. There he is. Of course. Ah. Is there... Okay, one other minor point is... Yeah, those, besides those flashes, is not being able to skip through a little chat like that. Yeah, no flashes are annoying. Okay, gotta keep an eye out for when he drops those flame canisters. Okay, so you are safe in in the turrets from the flames, but it breaks them or overheats them. Okay, it just overheats them. Okay, so we are safe in there from the fire. I think I might have accidentally <laughs> gotten invincibility frames there whilst I was entering the thing. <laughs> Come here, you. And there we go. Ouch. You must feel pretty good about yourself. Enjoy it, fools. Your time is almost up. What do you mean by that, sicko? Soon you will know your place. Both of you. Kiki, this is beginning to creep me out. Our only option is to continue on. Godspeed, Kiki. Okay, yeah. I guess I think we're dealing with rats, well, basically looking for galactic domination. <laughs> Yeah, look, I, I expect that that might be the professor. I didn't think of that, and Beanie, that is one interesting rat. It's a very talkative one, for sure. Yeah. All of the vents have been cleared out. And guess what that means? It looks like we should be able to access the lab now. Let's check in with the Nexus PC and get this thing done. Great job, Tiki. Over and out. And achievement unlocked, fresh air. Uh, yeah, the reason that we were fixing the vents is basically because you know, we were denied in access to the laboratory unless it and the two other subsystems uh, we'll repair it. Uh, yeah, those other two subsystems were already repaired now. Have we already repaired? 
So we should be able to get to... Uh, we should be able to get stuck in the corner, apparently. <laughs> okay, that that could have been yeah, that could have been very annoying. Come on, Kiki. Okay. okay, we can escape from that by jumping away from the wall. But okay, am I going to need? Yeah, let's just go this way then. Guess it's the same place. Let's see, Beanie, I have banded in my arms, he is watching your stream intently, he seems fixated on Kiki's movements. <laughs> uh, maybe he recognizes uh, his ancient arch enemy, the cat. Doesn't that have many arch enemies? Okay. Like owls? Snakes? Let's see. I know there's more, but I can't think of them all at the moment. Okay, we can activate the fence, the elevator again, and get out of here. I think the laboratory might be the final area, but we'll have to see. And everything is loading in. Okay. Dead ends. Well, yeah, on the map here, those line, those, those dotted out rooms are areas that we haven't been to yet. So let's see if there are any places that we can get that in. Has that been waiting here this entire time? <laughs> let's see. Something outlined over here. Where the rock is, we can get past this now. What is hidden over here? Spikes and spikes and lava. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I could have shown these things took only one missile to blow up in the past. And there we go. Now what is uh, more health? Always welcome. We started out with like four health in this. Uh, let's see, Beanie again. A ventilation system with lava flows. Are you cleaning the? <laughs> are you cleaning the air conditioning of system of Trump Hotel? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, maybe that's why everything is in black and white. Uh, otherwise, everything would be gold. It'd look gaudy as all hell. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to avoid that. It's still in the ventilation. Yeah, I forgot about you there. Let's see, any other places up and down in the next one? Let's see, we're going to have to... That's going to be, have to be Kiki to get up there. We can't jump that high. So it's, it's the lower one that we go to then. Oh. Who the hell are you? Max, don't shoot! Uh, Beanie, what raises your temperature above 21 degrees while in the suit? Or is that number just for show? That's the, that's the heating of the missile system. 
So, yeah, we fire that, heat goes up, fire too much, it overheats. Which I... It works... It works better than... You know, for this, it works better than having limited ammo. Is that a cat in a robot suit? I guess I'm one to talk. It's a frog in robot pants. Not true. Listen, maybe we can help this other out. I can modify your gun, but I'm short on fuses. Only seven cartridges, and you can talk upgrade. Oh, I was not expecting a crap rating. Yeah, and I know who the frog is. Mm -hmm. Slippy. The professor's research assistant. Uh, <laughs> then it would be fully ironic for them to end up as a frog, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, responding to Vini. We, we already got <laughs> we already got one uh, heatsink upgrade for that, uh, for the thing. Vicky, I'm afraid that I'm losing my grip. We better finish this mission before I croak. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Kiki's not impressed. Okay, uh, cartridges. Oh, wait. Or the cartridges, it means... The pallets, because we find whenever we find a cartridge, we find a pallet. So we found one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more, and then we can get those upgrades. And Ooh. All the more reason to go exploring then. Let's see. Yeah, there is some, two more hidden rooms or unexplored rooms here. First, let's have a little chat with this thing. Hey, AC, guess what? One moment, human. Calibrating, guessing, algorithm. <laughs> what? Correct. Here is your progress update, sir. Oh, hazards clear. Ray, rock. Now we can finally check out the lab. Please enter the passcode. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this thing was this thing was snarking at us at the beginning of the game to get all of his shit fixed, and now it wants a passcode. Seriously? All right, kitty. Let's keep it calm. I came prepared for something like this. Let me access the password decoder real quick. Decoding. Hello? Who's there? Um, good gravy, what is that? Stay back, I'm... Please enter the passcode. Did he just get attacked? Looks like you'll need to retrieve the coder kitty. Master has gone offline. Why were you happy about that, Kiki? It is up for a nervous laughter. Vini, was it just me or did Kiki look happy about it? Yeah, she did. She was smiling. <laughs> Sadistic little cat. Uh, that is until she remembers that, of course, she can't operate the can opener. <laughs> Second thought, I should have worn a black and white t shirt for this. A what? What? Oh! <laughs> Okay, music's picking up. 
But in that case, you should go on a white shirt with a little coffee stain on it. Only one on Vista Boom here. Water. Water we can enter as Kiki, but the suit it damages. Oh, okay, that tore a big ass hole in it. Okay, Kiki got a decoder. Captain's log, entry 72. It has been several hours since we crash landed on this wretched research planet. My dear Kiki stepped onto the console and disrupted the landing sequence. I'd be upset, but, but that, that's what cats do. And uh, Beanie can open her, she literally has no salt mac. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I don't think that, that <laughs> I don't think it'll work well if she just blasts the cans open. <laughs> She's been my sole companion during this lonely mission. She has proven to be quite the comp competent soldier. I feel a surge of pride. To have served the elite military ranks of Earth 2, it brings me some ease as my life force becomes weaker. That, although I may pass away inside this infernal craft, the mission may still be completed in my absence. I couldn't be any prouder of you, Kiki. Godspeed, sweet kitty. Over and out. Okay. Uh, we'd known that he was hurt in the crash and that he was stuck, but I did not think it'd be life threatening. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was being played up for laughs. <laughs> like yeah, well, everything else here. Yeah, it Should be a safe station in here. Nope. Somewhere around here for us to get our suit back. Definitely not in there because the suit can enter through that. This music wasn't here before, I think. Yeah, it's, it's nice, but kind of curious. Why now? Yeah, because the stakes got raised a lot. This, well, now, now the commander has been. I don't know why. I for, keep forgetting his actual rank. So I think I'll just call him Captain. Uh, yeah, he's missing now. So, yeah, stakes went up. Not the stakes you could throw in the pan and <laughs> cook. I think he probably wouldn't mind one of those. And Beanie again in chat. Uh, you can definitely dance to it. Yeah, this. This has a bit of a 90s techno vibe. Right now, and yes, it comes off with. It is head bopping with. Hmm. Yeah. I'll have to see if oh, there's God. a soundtrack that can be bought separately. Because that is going onto my playlist. <laughs> and then again, most of my playlist is on YouTube, so I should get to buying or downloading that in time. <laughs> Please enter the passcode. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> passcode is meow. Oh, Prince Sesame. 
Oh, come on. Good luck. You're going to need it. Wait, Tiki's been saying nothing but meow, so why did it not... <laughs> why didn't it start... Yeah. Welcome, visitor. This is the incubation sector. Be free to observe the biomes ahead. Do not disturb the inhabitants. The hydroglobular tubes are free for viewing. But please do not tap on the glass. The research facility is not liable for any resulting harm to visitors. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to go through the footage of this and just cut out Kiki's fa uh, faces, the faces she makes and use those as he moves. Sorry, you won't stay. Security faculty log number 2309. This is Jimbo reporting a breach of protocol. That crybaby doctor has been behaving like a little rat. So I took it upon myself to investigate privately. On several occasions I found him in a crazed state. Last in experiments seemingly unrelated to his post. The robotic defense program has far exceeded the budget. And is vastly behind schedule. I received a tip from a certain lab assistant. Okay. Uh. It seems he has siphoned funds from his research into life support and medical supplies for that guard dog. The one we intended for bio experimentation. I'm on my way to the lab to take the dog off life support and place the doctor into custody. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't react well to that. And I'm going to take a guess that that life support was a suit similar to the one Weary have. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Trades to break. There are a lot of these worms. Why is one in a tank? Two in a tank? Yeah. If you be obvious. you know what I mean. You didn't have to remove that. Not what I'm saying, I'd like to want to make a thing. In here. Uh, those are crates. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my sound. Uh -oh. I was fully expecting this to lock up, but apparently not. Okay, it's an, ele an elevator shaft of sorts. Either way, we can't get to the top yet. And, well, we aren't tapping the glass, we're blowing up the glass. So we're still abiding by the rules. <laughs> Don't be fair, people. Don't leave William in my aquarium. What are those? Not harmful, at least. Okay, so these 
like eggs. And we can just shoot through them instead of needing uh, rockets. Uh, yeah, we might. It wouldn't surprise me if we'd end up fighting a bug queen. Okay, here, uh, another one of these mini bosses. Uh -oh. Okay, we can hide on this. And neither one of those hits. Chat move from the corner of my anger, so give me a moment uh, whilst I try not to die. Sleep and just deal with it like another. So I do like that the, the, the rockets have a knockback. Uh, are you going to go down or not? You can hear it taking damage there. Come on. Oh, you are already gone. Uh, let's see, Atlas Gaming. Oh boy, he dropped the leaf dropping at pumps. Uh, Nini, Kiki is resourceful to say the least, yeah. She's, level, she's a clever little kitty. We're still going. Incidental there. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Let's blur this thing out because it's immortal as it is now. Okay, shooting you in the back is nothing. <laughs> And there we go. Let's see. Atlas again. Oh lord, he dropping F-bombs again. Here goes the monetization. I don't monetize these videos anyways. <laughs> uh, so I have nothing to literally effing lose. <laughs> Like, the worst I've gotten so far has been, uh, this video is blocked in, like, North Korea or something. And, yeah, that is of little consequence. 
dumb of me. I didn't think of the knockback. Uh, pretty much anyways, yeah. So that that is literally of zero consequence. Uh, Beanie, alright, it's 5 in the morning here. I'm off the bat. Take care. See you later. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. That's what the subs are doing here. Okay, plant the suit up there, and down here with Kiki. We can actually destroy these ourselves, okay. As expected. And then we do the same over here. Actually, what is here? Now let's park that thing there. In the meantime, we get our suit back. Chat again, Atlas Gaming achievement unlocked, immortal to do monetization. <laughs> Drawback, you know, you can no longer make any money. I'm not making. Uh, I get paid enough at work. And we buy awesome gaming. Yeah, it is. See? Yeah, we do this as a hobby. Yeah. After this, that side. We can just go around. Yeah, the, wor the worst that can happen to uh, us at the moment on YouTube or Twitch is that things get uh, yeah, removed for some reason or another. And that hasn't come to pass yet. So actually, yeah. uh, the Brutal Legend videos got blocked from viewing basically everywhere. Uh, but after a bit of tinkering, those were gone. Those could go live anyways. But that was like two times. Yeah, we, we did have it being really crazy up a storm that we didn't get to monetize. We just a small part of the game. So in the legend, uh, they did really pull up a storm. I'm guessing we need to get rid of these to open up the gate on the right. There we go. Okay. And now we get our suit back and go explore. First. Okay, both of those doors continue on. Let's go check out the one without the lock first. Ah, see? <laughs> Always good to check. No problem. What is up here then? Another law? Okay. Hello, you're new. We're also gone. That's not 
to deal with you. What is this? No, it's the vent. Oh, sweet. That turns it back off. What? What is over here? I forgot those are boxes and they break. Okay. Guessing. A... Okay, a box. <laughs> a frog in a jar, two frogs in a jar, and a drone aren't really much of a combo encounter. Chase it to unlock the door. Oh, actually not all the way. Still a long ass way. There we go. What was this all about? Is this where we're actually supposed to go? Wait. Okay. We've gone full circle. So it, it we are supposed to go the other way. And then we just backtrack to there and well, <laughs> go the way to actually progress. We're back. Uh, no need to bother with them this time. Okay, can I stand on? Yes, I can. Oh, I forgot about you again. And on we go. So the, the control scheme I have with this is a bit awkward and we need to get out here. With, I, I switched shifts to being jump instead of shoot. Uh, yeah, they, those were reversed before, but it's still a bit awkward. Okay, this will move the platform aside. And then we can go up to what, find whatever's behind that door. Non-humanoid visitor of research facility. Cat. You should be aware before continuing below. The turn function has been disabled from this elevator. Your safety is not guaranteed. This is, in other words, the point of no return. As in, if there is a human controlling you, 
and I wish to return to the previous point and collect inconsequential artifacts from around the world in order to satiate their desire to feel 100%. Then they might want to turn back now. Yeah. Uh, why do I feel called out? Well said. I miss hearing that. Proceed with caution. Okay, safe station right next to that. Makes sense. So that should mean that should mean that all of the other rooms that we haven't found yet, like that one up there. Wait, we can climb it as Kiki outside of the suit. Um, shall we backtrack to check what's over there? Yeah, we 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 may want to upgrade. Yeah, you should be able to get back here quick enough. Come on, this reset. Yeah. And <laughs> we block ourselves with the cannon. Uh, okay. No, wait. We can move the platform aside again. That uh, just a bit of an annoyance then. But if that thing reset itself, so we need to do that again. At least it's at least it moves aside quickly. Okay, that that will be the only thing that we'll go look for. Um, we need to bring this thing back as well. Like, yeah, having these stick in their old position would be just a small you know, quality of life change, but wait. Actually, we don't need to do that because I think we can move around the other way, yeah. I'd already forgotten that. Of course, my memory is worth as much as a split two cents per coin. As you literally. <laughs> <laughs> and that thing is a new guy's covering. Okay. We activate those with this. So we activate those with this, don't we immediately on that deactivate them? Again. At least we don't have to fight this time. Okay, this this will be the only time we'll purposely backtrack here. Yeah, for yeah, it, 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 the upgrades are cool something. And I'm I'm curious if there maybe is another log up there or something. And if it is just a health upgrade, then it is a bit wasteful, but oh well. A health upgrade would probably help in a whole time. True, but I'd rather have something for mobility or something. Yeah. Well, I need to find a lot of up there, so you can buy upgrade where uh, it is. True. So hopefully, mobility. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to figure out what those upgrades may be on my own time. But hopefully this is a cartridge. In that case, we probably should go back to the... Should go back to the frog anyways. Okay. Been 
going at this for an hour 15. Uh, 12 minus the... Minus the freeze bits. So can we... There we go. It's a bit of a tricky jump. Okay, how the heck are we supposed to be able to get to that then? Because we, there is no way that we can make that jump from either side. Maybe, but we did say that was going to be the only bit of backtracking, and I see no functional way of getting there. At the moment, maybe through some sort of trickery, but yeah, let, we're not going to waste like half an hour of people's time just to sate our curiosity. Yeah. Uh, hello. Ooh. A bit of a minion rush. We can slip through those things and can blow them up. Uh, the hell? Oh, of course. Uh. Yeah, it, it isn't used too often, so we just forget about the dash. I think someone was something was supposed to be there. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting some last thing there with how the music was starting to build up. Okay. Final stretch. Okay, uh, hello. Okay, those go off on their own. Ah, 
has to be because you are pursuing me. You're new. <laughs> okay. And it's immune whilst not attacking. Okay. Never mind. I just put the ticket in the radar. This takes only two rockets. Well, I'm new to thing. What? Yes, Okay. <laughs> Mace. Yeah, hello there. Goodbye. Still got a hit on me, but okay. Right into that. And combat, of course. I think you're new. You are also dumb. What is your goal for everything? That one. Yeah, is, th is that thing supposed to be some sort of missile drone because it's shoved a missile up its forehead, I think? Yeah, that's where I thought the more first. We need to put the uh, rocket thing backward. Locked, so you can also stay there and see. Yeah, didn't miss anything. Yeah. Alright, it wouldn't. Oh. Hello there. What? I was supposed to be like Mega Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize that Mega Man and Sam were just playing No. Over Rocket Arms. Yeah. Or more Blaster Arms. I'll let you live long enough to try and do your thing now. Okay, okay yeah, it just fires a homing rocket. Or missile. Uh, rocket is the term for unguided. Missile is for, well, guided or seeking. <laughs> Only just noticed that thing just before it came down. Of them, and of course, the hazards are only for us. Unfair. See, that's one side cleared. Okay, 
while it's attacking, it's immune. This does make this quite slow. Already you. There we go. You can't turn around. Okay, all better for us. That ball again. I think that got the most hits on us there. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't see a lock on the door, at least. Okay, it's my door. Come on, give us a save from here somewhere. There has to be one soon, and I almost fell into the water. I did fall into the water. I keep forgetting that these rockets get knocked back in the air. Last hit. Come on. That should have killed it. it. Did save room? Come on, save room! Oh, come on! And it's a kill room. Uh, of course, the stupid flames. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that put us back quite a bit. Okay, no more no more shots were hurting me earlier at times. So what changed? After it has the little alert thing on its head. Maybe, maybe we need to shoot you in the back or something. Okay, I I don't get when those things are vulnerable. Try and get through with taking at least amount of hits as possible. So when the door is just open, we rush. It, 
it seems like the only time they take damage is right before they swing or something. Not always. Ooh. Okay, at least we are now at full health for this. Where the heck you are? This is like a fly. Great. He's dealing damage from above the thing with these things. Yeah, I think that Emma is supposed to be quick now. Wait, is it the antenna? That the that's the weak point or something. I think it's their antenna. Which would make that that swinging ball here extra annoying. Yeah, every shot from above seems to well, almost every. Yeah, so far the most of the damage has been from that freaking ball. They, they really want us to jump. Okay. Yeah, I should have gotten rid of that before. Okay. Swings back. It's, if it is its uh, antenna, then I don't get why it does take damage from the front with these normal shots. Two-handed trick again. And none of those hit. So we need to hit its, its core or something. That did nothing. Yeah, I officially don't know why, how the hell, what the heck we're supposed to hit with these things. Yeah, I, that's probably the, so far the worst designed enemy because it seems it just seems random where it takes damage and finally Okay, and with lucky number 13 we go for the boss finally Eight It's a captain and there's the rats well, 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 if it isn't my feline foe. Don't be smug, I have you exactly where I want you. Atlas Gaming, I return. Welcome back. Or haven't you realized all of these challenges you have been through? All of the adversity you have overcome? 
Those were but a series of experiments to see if you'd make a viable vessel. And you've proven to be very strong and very resilient. You will make perfect host for my poor dying dog, Barkley. He's sick, you see, and has been for a long time. I've been preserving his life in a hydroglobular tube, but I knew sooner or later that wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough. It wouldn't be enough. Okay, so it is the doctor in the, in the mouse or the rats. So I accessed, I, ac yeah, I accessed the military database and found you and Gary, both suitable hosts for me and for Barkley. Won't be laughing now, will you? When I have the body of a soldier and the mind of someone who has killed so many people, so many. Imagine my delight when I discovered that Gary's patrol route was in this sector. I repaired the galactic broadcaster and sent out a security alert. Then, you imbeciles crashed your ship right into my backyard. <laughs> Leave it to a dimwit soldier to pin himself inside his own ship. Luckily, his body wasn't damaged too much. Okay, so he wasn't going to die. Or at least not without medical help. Or with a lack of medical help, he might have still died. Now I'm going to transfer my consciousness into Gary's body. And finally, be rid of this pathetic form. Then I'm going to do the same for Barkley with yours. Everyone is gonna regret degrading me and treating me like a filthy rat. <laughs> well, at least he's a lab rat. <laughs> Why am I doing this, you ask? I can't even remember anymore. How the f how fucking long have you been here? following your plan. I have a mech suit. But so do you, but your dog does not. Okay, how am I going to load up from below? No. I can't get high enough to shoot, but not at every time it's on. I should have dashed. Trying to crush me. You're such a smart guy, that's a pretty stupid strategy, especially when faced with a rocket launcher. Oh, but that makes more sense. Ooh. Come 
on. Use the dash too early. Much too early. Uh, that was lucky. That was dumb. All of those were misses. Okay. That's new. This is rather good. Steady altitude now. Makes it so much easier to bombard him. Uh, what are you up to? Oh. Okay, that's somewhat smarty because now he's flying out of our range. Unless... Nope. Here we go again. I'll give you props for adapting. At least changing up your strategy, but you're no Mr. Freeze in Arkham City. Maybe I should add those games to the to-do list as well. How did I not get hit there? again and there we go he got crushed instead or was that just phase one that was just phase one there you are Kiki well, see that tube above? That's where you'll go for your final rest. Tired yet? You think you've beaten me? Like I even need a mech. Oh, you fucker. With this sweet physique and opposable thumbs. <laughs> I'll take you out the old-fashioned way. Oh, with a gun. I was looking up. Say hello to my latest multi-gun. Might as well say goodbye too, while you're at it. Uh, so, we're going to end up... Having to kill the captain's body. Or Gary's body. Where'd you get that from? Yeah, he doesn't have a, a layer of armor this time. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! <laughs> this isn't Lawbreakers, dumbass. Okay, so all of those health upgrades we got were... Well, not really needed, but very much appreciated. <laughs> Oh. oh, come on. Cheating motherfucker. <laughs> that was supposed to drain all of our health, even if we got through... Uh, got through without taking damage. Yeah, Atlas Gaming, is that Jerry? Just kidding. <laughs> 
This is it, camp. You have no choice but to surrender. They busted up the mech. The vessel has been damaged enough. Alert. Disturbance detected. Computer, don't interrupt me. The situation is under control. Enter passcode to release hydroglobular tubes. Enough. Your assistance is not required here. Incorrect. Please enter passcode. Correct. Releasing hydroglobular tubes. Oh. Bartley? You need to stay in the tube. Your condition is unstable. Barkley, why? Do you not recognize me? Nope. It's me. It's Otto, your friend. Who doesn't look like Otto, nor smell like Otto. He is absolutely exhausted from the looks of it. And she is getting licked by a dog, which is probably not helping. <laughs> Yeah, that's There you go. Did Barkley kill him? Or just knock him out? Gary is inside the dog. Yeah, I... Gary got switched with the rat. So it doesn't make sense. So he should still be in the rat. Don't hmm? forget, the computer seems to be on our side. Yeah. So... Yeah, there have been some switcheroo. Um, team in a team locked save the animals. Um, aren't we leaving someone behind? <laughs> or did he really get switched? Yep. Wait. Okay. This was not two hours. Yeah, that timer is very way off. No, and I suspect that... The, yeah, I'm guessing that if you have the, done a bit more things like the Happy and the Frog uh, woman and all that, maybe you had a different ending or something? Yeah, I'm pressing buttons. Oh, there we go. Wait. That was yeah, I'm guessing. Okay, now it looks very confusing. Yeah, be <laughs> the dog is dying. So, okay, well, we'll look. I'll take a little look on the TV tropes to see if there's different endings. Ooh. At first, let's just 
let this run out and I'll turn my fan back on because the heat is just building and dipping, building and dipping. Let's see. Yeah, the heat is just going up and down, or at least as, how, as I sense it. Probably want to see some extra tire at the moment. My body does not like it when they're very cold inside if you keep it hot, warm, or temperate. Special thanks to Linebridge, Testronic, Ritvik, Bansel, Zach Colorado, Kalat, Bro, uh, Kyle Baker, Graven Davis, Joe the Skin, ASCII Soft, Rave Hester, and Gravy. Or Grabby. Uh, gra now, Grabby would be the two Bs, I think. And that's that. Okay. Uh, let's keep that music going on the background. Well, hmm. yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's just shut up. TV tropes. Caps lock is on. Gato. Mato. use the other browse because that one seems to be intent on just milking me for data. There we go, got the Roboto. I've not seen anything sp uh, spike on the, the task manager during this, but then again my most of my focus was here and not to the left. Let's see, in the end the final boss auto transferred his consciousness into a rat, uh, from a rat into Gar Gary. And then fight you in his new body first in the Mac, then the special mm -hmm. uh, Breaks out of the two goes for Auto Gary's throat, so that basically said or basically goes that he did kill him. But supposedly then he and Kiki go into the spaceship together and fly off. It's heavily implied that Kiki was able to transfer Gary's consciousness into Barkley when she gave commands. But since both of them could only communicate in meows and barks, it's not clear. It could be just be that Barkley turned against Otto's plan on his own. The stinger implies that Barkley was always himself. Gary's consciousness survived in Otto's old mouse body and he snuck onto the ship in this form and wings at the camera. If you find the mouse in the playable epilogue, he will even call Kiki Good Kitty before correcting himself uh, saying I mean Squeak. Okay, so all three of them supposedly escaped. Alright. Okay, that, that could have been as explained a bit better, but uh, yeah, it's a bit <clears throat> it's a bit hard to communicate when you can only bark and just <laughs> make animal sounds. Yeah, but for the dog was the dog had some very expression. Yeah. Okay, just in case that is being recorded, shutting it off for now since well we're at the end of the stream anyways. And yeah, I have to say, I'm more than impressed with this game. I, I expected it to last like only an hour or two, and instead, this has been for about five hours or something. Yeah, it is. Quite impressive. And I, I hope that Doink Soft. Did you, uh, <clears throat> I hope Doink Soft uh, makes more games like this, or at least creatively creative games like this. Also, let's yeah. take a look. It does say New Game Plus. Hello. Uh, no, full screen on. Uh, why can't I not move between the different ones? Hmm. What is going on here? Great. Is this on the ship? Yep, it is on the ship. Uh, hello. Hmm. 
It's still sad that Barkley is dying. And what's down here then? Oh, wait, can we not go back to catch up with things anyway? Go. <laughs> Good kitty. Okay, so he did sneak on. I mean, squeak. Okay. Wait, there's your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's bigger than Kiki. The Kiki, I mean. Yeah, mostly for uh, yeah, being able to see them, it probably and such. Uh, yeah, does that mean that we actually can't go back and get the extra collectibles now? Well, tell me we got a false game plus. Hmm. Okay, twisting in this in the corner for a bit there. A, really, a spaceship and it uses a stove for heating or cooking. Okay, is there something hidden somewhere or so? Hmm. I could see that be a thing, but at the same time. Uh, oh wait. What did this in our wait? Did I escape an escape pod? No, sort of. Uh, a, 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 a spherical spaceship at the least. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if you're not supposed to be the ship. The stove would be so out of place. But I guess the stove is a electric stove, though they don't have regular cooking price on the dining thing. So, where would they get the wood or what are they using that uh, fuel for it? Okay, so it, it literally was a full point of no return, as in we. We can't go back to get the a lot of collectibles. On the one hand, kudos for actually making yeah a point of no return. That is a a, a point of absolute no return. On the other, yeah, I'd like to go back and get those other that other stuff. Yeah, no, you need you need to redo Wait. everything. Probably why they gave you that uh, very call out for if you want to. Uh, yeah. Let's see, does TV Trap say anything about this perhaps? So... Sequence breaking. Okay, they were smart enough to figure out that you could sequence break some parts and even put in achievements for that. One last little thing then, let's see, let's have a look at some of those other achievements, there's no real other need for them. It's, it seems only, okay, only a bit more than a third of the people who bought this game actually finished the game. And it seems there is only six other achievements. Danger Cat, Danger Cat finished the game without collecting a single health upgrade, which be, would be pretty challenging. Speedrun finished the game in under one hour. Rebecca's little helper, so that, that confirms that the frog is Rebecca. Obtained the repeater from Rebecca. Rebecca's BFF obtained a hopper from Rebecca. Perfectionist finished the game with 100% completion rate and one hidden achievement. Hmm. Oh, that, that's... That must be that sequence breaking achievement. So I thought you were giving you two useful upgrades. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm guessing that hopper is probably like another jump or a high jump. And the repeater probably, well, making the cannon auto fire instead of having to click it every time. Yeah, no, it's not like you would make it yeah, move it around much easier. Okay, uh, well, 
that has been Gato Rabato then. And yeah, let's have a look at who may be watching. Uh, let's see. Atlas Gaming, thank you for watching. And Paulina93. Uh, I haven't seen you speak up at any point in the past before. Uh, typically, that would mean that you know, that that typically that is considered a big hint that someone might be or an account may be a bot. Of course, that might not be the case. Uh, but still, uh, I'll prob I'll probably only really check the watchers if people have actually been talking in the chat and well he might he he left because he, it was freaking morning over there in australia uh, still a late thanks to beanie for watching especially since it's was so freaking late slash early for him <laughs> and as always special thanks to you to here oh you hope welcome okay yeah very impressed by this game uh, yeah. Tomorrow, two games here to try. One of them will be the original Gex, which is a 2D you know, platformer. The other one, I'll still need to look at what that might be. But for now, though, as always, uh, anyone's, thank anyone who has been watching again. And until next time, but until then, until then. Be safe, folks! Okay, there. Uh, I will need to see if these freaking macro keys do, us, do they require this to be open? They worked earlier. Okay. I, uh, are they? I'll just do it the manual way.